While um, many people felt put off, I know from my own experience through that period, put off by the, the sort of adolescent quality of a lot of the po protest politics and countercultural activities of that period, nevertheless, in the midst of all of those things, possibilities and life values were being raised that many people responded to. I mean, I am amazed when I look around me now at how freely uh, we can in the media, uh, in the society generally, in, uh, in, in polite society, uh, around a dinner table or at lunch and in my classrooms, we can talk about matters of sexuality that could never be talked about openly uh, through the 40s, 50s, and even up into the early 60s. Uh, our willingness to um, accept many different um, uh, sexual preferences, lifestyles in our society is much greater. The range of social tolerance is much greater than it was before. And if people still feel it's not enough, they should know what it was like back in the, uh, the 40s and the 50s. And you, it was, there was simply no openness on these issues. Um, uh, so, uh, and then the willingness of people to uh, come together to uh, talk about uh, their, uh, their grievances, what we call, uh, you know, uh, what we called it in the 60s, consciousness raising, uh, which is simply a sort of free confessional style uh, of life, uh, letting it all hang out, talking about uh, what once would have been very private, embarrassing things. Well, you know, it, that is the very basis of uh, Woody Allen's uh, comedy. You watch a show on television like 30-something. Uh, it, it simply permeates uh, popular culture of, of that kind. I see this as sort of the, um, the spin-off of uh, protest of the 60s, uh, taking root all around us in people's um, behavior, in their values, often without any idea on their part where it all came from. But all you have to do is make a, make a comparison between uh, how, how much more open um, uh, our society is today uh, the way it was in the 40s and 50s. And something happened in between. Well, what I can see that happened in between was a very noisy period of, of, of protest when people opened up uh, areas of life of d that uh, had been closed before. And while people may have rejected the kids and the hippies and the flower children and so on, by God, they certainly took advantage of the, uh, the spirit of, of many of those movements, which is a spirit of, of openness and, and, and tolerance, and uh, put it into practice. Take something like um, the prominence in our society today of the four-letter word. You know, I sit down and watch movies today in which, from the opening scene on, you have a run of language which as a, as a kid, if I had used it, I would have been punished severely, right? And that remained the case, you know, all the way up through the 50s. You realize when, when Lucille Ball got pregnant, they couldn't use the word pregnant on television. Uh, a movie that used the word virgin in the 50s was, uh, could not be approved by the, the Hayes office and the censors. Uh, it was condemned for that. Uh, and then somewhere along the line, and I can remember it fairly specifically, uh, you had students arriving on campus who would get up in the class and use these forbidden words. And the sky did not fall, right? Life went on. And suddenly, everyone was freed up. But I'm talking about only one aspect of life, uh, one aspect of the, the period we're, we're discussing. And suddenly, everybody sort of, you know, after an initial shock, freeze up and something has happened and influence has been released in the world. Well, I'm suggesting the same thing happened with, with sexual practices, with nudity. You know, John Lennon appears on, a <laughs> on an album cover nude with Yoko Ono and again, the sky doesn't fall. <laughs> and the next thing you know, you realize this is not something to be so hung up about, right? Uh, the very fact that certain people act and after acting, they sort of tested the waters and showed the rest of the society what is possible um, and can these things can be done often with a sense of, of innocence and experimentation. Uh, and the next thing you know, some people would see this as the corruption of the society and some people would see this as the, the liberation of the society. Um, but things get said uh, that uh, were n you could not say before. Criticisms get raised that we felt it was difficult to raise before. And all I can suggest to you is that um, often the influence is a matter of seeing or hearing, being exposed to an example of somebody doing something that opens up possibilities for you in life. And you may never then even remember the situation in which that became possible for you, uh, but it, it happens.